To all our friends, family, and loved ones of the Golden Gate Chiropractic community, Happy New Year, Happy Hanukkah, Merry Christmas, all the holidays, all the joy. We're wishing you well. I'm Dr. Lance. I'm currently coming from my bedroom right now while my kids watch a show in the other room, uh, wanting to sneak out a message to you before the end of the year and uh, to recap some of the wins, the challenges, uh, some of the things we've experienced in 2021, and also to invite you to see what's coming for 2022 within our business, within our community, uh, and offerings for you that we invite you to let us know you want to be a part of so that we can uh, invite you to those more exclusive areas. So to recap 2021, a couple of big highlights. Uh, always we start with the people in our business because that's what makes this possible for us. Uh, we had uh, the biggest team we'd ever had, and we've also had some major transitions with Dr. Brock uh, and his lovely family moving to Indiana. Uh, he's been with us for a couple of years while Allie, his now wife, uh, is in the stage of chiropractic school when she can take an internship and they've both moved back to their home state with their daughter, Sedona. Uh, I was fortunate enough, one of the highlights of the year for me was to be the officiant of their wedding. So we are fully behind them, fully in support of this transition. Wonderful uh, things come for them on the other end. And we also want everyone to know who has been getting taken care of by Dr. Brock, that we and our team, our family here is ready with open hands and open hearts to welcome you. I know that most of you are already being taken care of with Dr. Ace at the Marina location, but just know that Dr. Becca and myself are also uh, between both offices and uh, ready to welcome you and give you hugs and all the love that, that Dr. Brock has given you. My eyes are blue, if that means anything to you. They're not as piercing as Dr. Brock's, uh, but we'll do our best to, to try to fill his big shoes. Another important person in our team for this last year has been Kaylee. Uh, for many of you, you may have seen her at the front desk. Many of you may not have realized that she was a major player behind the scenes, uh, acting as our operations manager for this last year. I was her high school teacher over, uh, over probably 10 years ago today. <laughs> and, uh, and we have formed a very close bond. And she has been on the path of becoming an event coordinator, wants to own a brewery and a restaurant someday. And this has been a building block in her career. And she has fulfilled that dream, at least uh, another leap toward it, uh, and has become an event consultant. So if you're looking for someone to run events for you, think of Kaylee. She will still be in and around our team, uh, but more from a consulting perspective as we do increase a lot of the events that we've had. Uh, and uh, I'll get to that in a little bit. Two other people we want to just acknowledge is Chris and Laura, who you may have seen and received care from. They were our preceptor uh, doctors-to-be, and they are now graduated from chiropractic school and off in San Diego opening their offices uh, or office. We'll see how it ends up going for them. But again, just fully behind them in support of their vision and actualizing the life that they want to build. We are practicing what we preach to you guys, always trying to find out how do we get more life per moment, uh, eating, moving, thinking, recuperating, and also gathering with people that not only accept us for where we are, but also uh, accept us for where we want to be and facilitate that process. So for us, this is the dream machine. Doga Cairo is not just serving you, but it's serving our team and our staff and our families. Uh, and helping us build the lives that we want as well. Transitioning now into a couple of major wins from the year. I mentioned events already once with Kaylee, and uh, we had our first successful mini retreat in 2021. So we had a small group of folks meet up at Golden Gate Park, and we did movement and breath work and meditation. I went through a TED-like talk uh, about the big picture of health and how resilience and adaptability are the answers to our core issue in life how much quality and quantity of stress we're dealing with and how that trickles down toward uh, causes and effects of symptoms, sickness, disease, malfunction in our body and how we can in endeavor in ways in our life to match that need. And uh, we will be doing more of this this year. It was validated that it was valuable. We've been requested to do it again. So within quarter one, we will do our next retreat. So if you want to be included in announcements about that type of an event, our retreats that we do uh, off-site, please let us know. We have a link below that you can log in for that or opt in to be uh, included in the announcement. And uh, we want to invite you. And we also want to be sensitive to people's email inboxes. So please let us reach out to you directly if you want to be reached out for. Another major win for us this year was the establishment of the relationship between Goga Cairo and St. Ignatius High School Sports Medicine Department. We are officially the chiropractor for St. Ignatius. And uh, we've been seeing some of the athletes getting great results. So they've invited us back and uh, we'll have a little more intimate relationship with them moving into chiropractors be, being teamed up with certain sports 
and being able to really deep dive with those athletes, those coaches, and eventually the staff and community as well. So if you know anybody at SI, let, let them know that we're there. Uh, they can reach out to us directly if they have any issues or questions. But I imagine very soon we will also be uh, given the go-ahead to reach out to them to prevent injuries from coming up. That's the big picture for us is proactively building resilience and adaptability so you're not waiting for that trickle down and those symptoms and sicknesses and diseases. And Whenever we talk about the wins, we always acknowledge the, our quadruple bottom line, which is the people, the purpose, the planet, and the profit. And our people, like I've mentioned, have succeeded this year. Our team has, like many teams, been challenged but we have also been creative and connected throughout this entire endeavor during these times. Yeah. And it's been, <laughs> that's Connor. Hey buddy. I'm going to pause and come right back. Okay. I'm back. Thank you for that. Uh, so regarding our purpose, taking people from stuck to stoked, we did a few things to measure that this year. One of them was on our re-exam forms, which every 12 visits people go through a re-exam we identify what changes have people experienced physically, emotionally, and chemically, or sometimes spiritually, you know, on their mission in life, how are they doing? And uh, it's been unbelievable what we've seen people share. Thank you all to your, for your trust, for those who have shared with us. Uh, you can see on our Instagram page every Tuesday, we do Testimonial Tuesday, and some of the, sh the stories have been shared there. Uh, but far beyond what has been shared publicly, there are so many of you that have shared with us how this has affected your life and that fulfills us and our purpose. Uh, 2021 has been no disappointment when it comes to our feeling like we are contributing to the world in a way. Uh, and as we always say, like serving you is a great way to spend our life. So thank you so much. Another measure of success for us in our business is our impact on the planet. And for those that don't know, we are a 1% for the planet member, which means our organization is held accountable to donating 1% of our top line or gross revenue from the year. And this was our first year as a member. We actually began on Earth Day in 2021. And uh, this will be finishing our first cycle. So we're so happy to be able to contribute that uh, and to know that we're still being able to keep our doors open. And, and every time that we win from a profit perspective, the planet wins. And as long as the people that we're serving and you stay happy, fulfilled and growing in your lives, it's a win, win, win. And that's, that's why we're here as a business. And that fulfills our purpose. And some of the ways that we're looking forward to increasing your quality of life and quality of service at Golden Gate is by increasing our contributions to you between visits. So some of those ways are going to be uh, products that we come out with that supplement your care. Some of you already know about the peanut, the PVC pipes or plantar pipes. Uh, you'll see the voodoo floss getting brought, brought into our care. Uh, these are things that we've been recommending and recommending, but we're also seeing that a lot of people just want it to be for sale in the office. So those are some of the things we'll be working on this year, bringing that just so it's more convenient for you to get what you need quickly and also have it on site where we can show you how to use it. Uh, we will be doing retreats this year, probably quarterly, if not biannually. Uh, but if the need and want is there, again, let us know if you're interested. Uh, but we will be doing more of those because we can go so much deeper in the education. And once you understand the body and how it heals, you can be facilitating your own healing between the visits. And we are there as a tool that you can continue to use. Two more things I'm excited to share is we will be re establishing our Wake Up Wednesday, which is a weekly email that goes to an exclusive group. Let us know below. Opt in for that if you want it. But for those of you who, when COVID hit, we were just trying to give resources on a weekly basis that our doctors had curated, uh, the things that we're using and loving and learning. We are constantly reading new information, uh, watching videos, uh, and we want to share the takeaways with you. So every week, we'll basically just curate that list, the top four things that our team and doctors have thought would be beneficial for you. And we will share that to those that are interested in that, the Wake Up Wednesday email. And lastly is I will be starting a podcast. Uh, I have been a podcaster in the past. If you ever want to look up The Artful Chiropractor, that was a project that I co-founded uh, maybe even like eight or nine years ago uh, for the chiropractic community. Uh, I have taken a hiatus, but I feel very called now to be communicating the things that I'm learning. I feel like I'm accelerated how much I've learned in the last few years and a lot of the things that I have applied to my life to be, build adaptability and resilience in the face of COVID and being a business owner and a parent and a partner while being a professional and a person who also has to get my needs met. Uh, the Living Systems podcast will release in 2022, the, right in the beginning of January, as soon as it's dialed in. 
so look for that. And that will also be for the broader community, not just our practice members here in San Francisco. And that's a big need is uh, we have friends, family, and loved ones across the globe. And uh, while we can actually work with our hands for those that are in San Francisco, uh, there's so much beyond uh, the actual impulse that you receive that can facilitate your healing. So we'd like to be uh, offering lessons, asking deeper questions, and exploring ways that I want to be learning, and also inviting guests in who I'm excited to learn from, and we can share in that learning with you. So thank you so much for an amazing 2021. Again, it's always a pleasure and such a wonderful way to spend life serving you through chiropractic. And this year, we're excited to breach the walls of the offices, invite up for meetups uh, once everything is chilling in San Francisco and we can do so safely. And uh, we want to offer you more service, more education, more connection as we move into 2022. Thank you so much for everything, including your trust, your love, and your support. We love you. Happy New Year.